Okay, so today's video is going to focus on the errors that you could be having uh, with USB loader GX, WeFlow, and the CFG loader. Uh, one of the main causes mainly is um, the uh, ROMs that you're downloading are not matching the region. That's one of the main causes. Um, two could be the type of USB de device you're using or hard drive that you're using. Uh, the Wii uses the 2.0. A lot of the devices now are 3.0 USB. So that could be a cause. And also a cause is the CIOS um, is not installed cor correctly. So um, let's get into it. So first we'll do the USB loader GX. For start. Go to USB loader GX. Load. I'm using a USB stick to load the games. And there you go. So I have two Wii games. Now, if you're having trouble loading the games, um, go to the gear icon, loader settings, uh, video mode. I would put it to Force NTSC. That usually works. And then you can go down and then loader iOS. I would clear it, change it to 250. Now go back or press OK. That should do it right there. Um, So those two settings themselves should actually fix the problem, most most problems. Let's see if the games load up. We'll do uh, Super Mario Bros. So this one loaded right up. No issues. And there you go. So now let's go home. We menu. Yes. Now we're going to do uh, WeFlow. And I'll show you where to put the settings so you don't have any issues. So, Homebrew Channel, Start. Let's go to WeFlow, Load. I have the same two games. So there's a two, the same two games. So what I would change in here, uh, your partition, SD or USB, mine is USB. I think everything else is good. Now when you actually load on the game, you must change it. You go in the gear icon, you must change it to 250. It will come stock. It'll be automatic. So you gotta change it to 250. It should load right up. No, no problems. So go back. Let's try to load the, the game. Press play. And there you go. Loaded right up. No, no issues. Perfect. Now let's go home. We menu, yes. Now we'll do the CFG, which to be honest is the uh, best program to use because usually it just uh, reads every ROM automatically and it works fine. So we'll go to Homebrew Channel, start. So let's start it off. 
CFG USB loader mod. Press A. Load. There you go. So I have Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Kart, and Super Mario Bros. There's nothing really to change here. So this this should work automatically. If you have the uh, CIOS installer, the 2DX CIOS installer uh, properly done, you should not have any problems on this one. So these just start all right up. So let's test it out. So let's start. And there you go, it boots right up. No problems. I didn't have to change any settings. It boots right up. And there you go. I'll go back, back home, remenu. Yes. Now if you're getting if you're getting the error number 002 on USB loader GX, I'm gonna show you what to change quickly. There's one setting in particular that, that you have to change under the game load. Let's just load it up. So right here. I think it's in here. So you go down. Um, fix. Okay, so it looks like this one. It looks like this one does not have it. This one's the up the upgraded USB loader GX. And that option is completely gone. So if you put those two those two um, settings in, it should work automatically the games. The force uh, NTSC. And then the 250, the loader iOS 250. It doesn't matter if it's a PAL uh, or Japanese. It, it should it should load the games if you have those two set up. So that's about it for the video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any uh, questions or comments, put them down below. And on to the next video.